Hello, selectors, and welcome to the Life Burst Podcast, where we're going to talk about the last of the, uh, cre- sorry, the, uh, <laughs> I've clearly recorded all these at once and gotten a little tongue-tied here. Um, <laughs> this is the last of the, uh, Curiosity Diva, Deckless, and actually my personal favorite here, which is going to be Musica, um, Vogue X3. 3x Vogue, whatever. Um, it has it's a really really interesting L rig, and I think it actually is got a lot of potential. But it would require a dedicated deck builder to to really be like trying to pilot this and and uh, tweak it as needed. Um, but it it has a niche that I don't think any other deck can really do, um, and I think it can be actually quite powerful when done correctly. Um, but let's get into it. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the, the card itself and then why we went in this direction. And also, uh, just a, a note, you might've seen this already on my channel. Uh, I, I did actually put up a version of this earlier, but I, I wanted to change a few things. I wasn't quite proud of it. Um, and so I, I swapped some things out. There was some leftover tech from a different version I was testing, um, that should have been killed off, uh, in testing and was in there. Um, and I, uh, I, yeah, I just, I just didn't want to give you guys a incomplete deck list. So here's a version that's a little bit more complete. Uh, without further ado, Musica Vogue X3 is a level three that, uh, has two enter costs to, to grow it, uh, Black Elrig, and it has the following abilities. Um, first, once a turn, when another Elrig on your field grows during your turn, you can target one Signy on the opponent's field and make sure it gets negative 5,000 till end of turn. Um, the second one is once a turn, when an Elric grows on your field during the opponent's turn, you can target a black signy in your trash and add it to your hand. Um, the last one here is uh, it's action once a game abilities. You can pay one, target one assist Elric on your field that does not have uh, use timing attack phase or uh, grow cost of zero and return it to the Elric deck. Okay, let's start with that once a game part first because it's uh, potentially the most important part. Um, is this differs from Musica uh, 1.0. Now, I think a lot of people look at L-Rigs that have basically the same name and are different versions and want to make comparisons to them. And and there are comparisons to be made for this one and Musica. And the fact that you can... Musica brings back a... 1.0 brings back a diagram. Um, L-Rig back to your hand, a level 1. This one can bring back any assist to L-Rig to your hand, but has uh, certain conditions, very stringent conditions that can't has to be met. Because of those conditions that are so different, and the fact that it, it kind of fulfills different roles completely, I actually think it's important, before we talk about the deck, to separate your mind from uh, the Musica deck prior. Um, I think... This is one of the things that in Japan hasn't necessarily happened. A lot of people still see Musica as a a um, a deck that requires diagram to function, um, and there is actually a diagram combo with this. You can be playing a Senga that, when it enters the battlefield, uh, lets you enter charge three, but costs two, and also removes a Signy from the field that's ten thousand or more. Um, you can do that and you'll end up with plus two enter and you'll also end up with hopefully two lanes opened. Um, what I decided was that this was not worth it. Uh, the restriction of being able to only hit 10,000s and above does not quite work in a world where the metagame is very aggro-centric and it's always going to be a little aggro-centric based on the way that we cross is built. Um, so in my head, you're not really getting a clean two for one. Plus, you need the the two enter to start with, which could be a bit of an ask sometimes in, in decks, um, especially when you're getting enter burned so much, uh, to get yourself up to that point where you'll be above one. In fact, and I also think, and this is just my bias coming out here, green is not really a great color in Wii Cross either. So playing something that adds green to your deck doesn't necessarily make it a good card, especially if you don't have great payoffs in green. And right now, as far as the Signian spells go, and even the Elrigs to an extent, there's really no great payoff in green. So we're going to abandon the idea that this is a diagram-based deck, because honestly, Musica 1.0 is still a fantastic Elrig. It just requires it need to be in diagram. And the diagram options that you get from Musica 1.0 are stronger in a lot of ways, and stronger is in a different way than the uh, Vogue 3 ways. Um, 
Vogue 3 is going to be naturally pushed into a more aggressive build um, than, than the music of 1.0 deck. And that is simply because the, um, the target one assist Elrig on your field, right? Because it's open to interpretation, you can do that as a level one assist or a level two assist, but your best level one assists you need to be able to do for the play for the first time early in the game. And because you're playing it so early, you don't want to spend your enter, right? Enter, enter can be spent later down the line in turn two, three, four, whatever. But in your turn one and two, you really want your um, your level ones to be easily accessible, especially because they allow you to then transform into a defense mode later down the line. So you're, you're really, and they're also not that strong either. Like there's no L rig that I'm, I'm going to be able to bounce with this. And I'm like, Whoa, I got away with murder on this one. Um, so because of that, I don't think it's where you want to be at. You want explosiveness out of your uh, once a game ability. And the fact that you want explosiveness puts you into a level two area. And a level two also generally, those are the ones that have grow costs where you're actually paying costs. The sad thing is you don't get an attack phase timing. I think I think if you could get the attack phase timing and you could double Madoka Clap or you could double uh, MC Lion Disrespect, this would be a ridiculously strong L rig. Um, Sadly, you can't. It's no attack phase timing, which means that if we're looking at the best uh, assist L rigs that have a cost on them and are main phase, then we're looking at things like um, Ange level 2, which bounces two things. Um, trash is one of the things. Um, the other one is, um, is, is Love It Mix, which uh, basically lets you go in for a three, turn, three, three uh, lane attack. Um, and the issue with those are they're not the most, they're, they're a little expensive to, to do, right? If you're doing Ange, it's a total of five in order to do the once again ability at the recast with love it mix. It ends up being six. So this is where I think, um, Musica shines with a specific, uh, assist L rig. And that specific assist L rig is going to be, um, X step out, right? So X step out will allow you to. Uh, and the order of operations for this is that you're going to pay one to grow this, give something assassin, enter charge two. You will then be able to be up one enter. You'll use that one enter from Musica in order to um, in order to um, set yourself up so that way you can then pull it back to your to your L rig deck, cast it again. Now you're down one enter. You give something else assassin, and you can choose to enter charge two here at this point. Um, and that'll put you up one enter, so you'll end up with two assassins and one enter, or you can choose to draw, in which case you will have spent one enter, drawn two cards, and gotten assassin twice. It's very, very good, and very, very streamlined. And I think one of the main reasons why you want to be playing this deck, luckily also pulls a red color in for you. And black-red, as we know with um, other <laughs> the other teams, DXM, um, that that is very, very strong. However, I found that in testing that uh, running just red-black aggro, while good, doesn't really stand up to the same thing that Deus uh, DXM can do. Um, and what I found was I needed a turn five. I just needed a little bit more wiggle room to win the game. Um, and this deck can provide that just by doing MC Lion dig and uh, disrespect here. Uh, MC line specifically disrespect allows you to basically survive up until that turn four at least and using MGD another piece that we have um, that should guarantee us to go to turn five that's that's the goal with this deck and since you have such availability of assassin and there is quite a bit of assassin that to be had in this deck um, you end up with this top end that allows you to really just sort of ignore what your opponent's doing and keep putting the beats down. Um, you have MC Line Dig, that gives you some draw, which is quite quite good on its own. Um, and then also uh, X Gazer, so you can go ahead and still be able to vanish and deal damage. There's a world where you swap X Gazer out for um, the, the X that allows you to draw cards by discarding a red card. And then you swap MC Line Dig out for MC Line Stand Up, which is a crazy card that you could use. Um, that basically does the same thing where it allows you to vanish the signy and then attack for damage. It's less in it's less good in my head than doing this order. So I would I would stick it to this order. Um, Burning Curiosity helps you just get to that late game. You know, helps you helps you have the necessary amount of punch to win the game. 
Um, but it could be, I, I wouldn't want to swap it out, but you could swap it out for something else. Same thing with um, MGD. If you're thinking that you need Xeno Cluster here, or you're thinking that you might want to run um, something else in, in this deck to, to sort of get yourself there, maybe be a little bit more aggressive, that is totally fine doable. I, I think I want to stem the bleeding just enough to ensure that I can get to turn five, because turn five means that I get four more attacks than I would if I was on turn four and attacked. So that's my reasoning for running this type of main deck. Now, there is some, some stuff to be said about um, Musica's combo in this deck, aside from with X Step Out. Um, you will always have access to X Step Out being a very good L-Rig to do this, but Musica has another combo in this deck that works very, very, very strong, and that's to do with its first ability and its, its once per game. Um, the first ability is that when this Elric grows on your, whenever an Elric grows on your field, once once per turn, by the way, you can target Signy on your opponent's field and give it negative five thousand power until end of turn. This is going to shrink most things down to a red vanishable range, right? Even if the card is thirteen k, it'll shrink it down to an eight k, which is an important number because this deck uses one of the one of the cards that does not get a lot of love in Wheat Cross, which is Coco. Um, so Coco has an ability of, uh, as long as this is in your center L-Rig, the grow costs on your L-Rigs is reduced by one, right? So what's great about this is even that alone, if we don't talk about anything else, that alone is enough to say, hey, X, X step out is now going to cost zero to do it, right? It still works with the game's once a game ability, because the grow cost of X step out technically isn't zero. This just reduces it. So the grow cost is technically one, but reduced by one. Um, what that means is that you can still once a game the X step out. So you can then go ahead and play X step out, enter charge two, or draw two cards, your choice. Um, but let's say you enter charge two. That means that you're up to enter, because this was free. Um, you can play the once per game, spend one of those enters to X step out again, in which case you can draw two cards or enter charge two if you want. And the end result is you will be at three positive enter with two assassins on the field. And that's incredible. Like some, that is insane. Just if someone were to say, Hey, would you play this piece that gives you three enter and also, uh, assassins to put to assassin on two of your signies, you'd say, absolutely. I would. Um, but it, it gets a little better than that too, is that, um, Coco also has this awesome ability where, um, during your turn, if an Elrig on your field grows, you may pay colorless. If you do, you can vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power 8,000 or less. The cool thing with Musica is that it gives something negative 5,000. So if you, you targeted a 13k with that, you can now kill it for one enter. Um, it is, uh, one of those awesome things that you can do and you can do this this will be available for you on turn three and turn four probably not afterwards which is why it's only a two of even though i kind of want to push it into a three of in the deck somehow um and it's it's going to be incredibly powerful um this is something that i i just have not seen anyone mention on the, or or even use in uh the japanese uh meta but i can't see how this isn't strong like getting access to full lanes uh attacks for multiple turns um with z almost zero enter investment is in is stupidly strong it's one of the reasons why x is a very very good uh center on its own let's talk about the other deck now that we've gotten that uh out of the way we've got baphomet um this is probably something that you could change out but i kind of like just because it mills here and that allow you to dig a little deeper with uh the music is once per game or sorry not music is once per game but it's it'll be one happen once per game when you disrespect you'll be able to bring something back from your trash and i like baphomet being able to give you sort of some uh dig abilities uh, you could change out for example mgd for um super helestia saber get a guard back and then also get back another black card that you want your white options are pretty limited in this deck but it, it's worth mentioning that that's something that you can do and baphomet will enable that um one of the other things that i really like is that caesar is a card that you can also use um that with with caesar you want to have seven cards in your trash which is doable in this deck um and then you can gain access to a, to assassin uh, by paying black and have something 
that's negative, that's 5,000 or less, right? Again, one of the things that you can do with music is you can shrink something down to uh, 5,000 or less, and then you can go ahead and assassin uh, freely with this. Now, there are things like Alexandria in our deck that will allow us to um, copy that assassin. So that's one of those things. Alexandria in this deck, I think, is actually better than Alexandria in the, um, in the, uh, what do you call it? The X deck, because it, I think Alexandria has more things that I can grab Assassin from than the X deck combined. Um, we talked about Coco to to the end of the world. It's a very, 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 very strong engine in this deck. But speaking of engines, let's talk about Dark Energy. It's a two of in this deck. Um, I've fallen out of love with Dark Energy as the meta's gone on. A level three that for one enter, technically free, can kill something is is pretty good. Um, Musica, you can use it in combo with Musica and get your enter back no matter what, pretty much, which is why it gets still a pass here and could be a three of, but I really wanted to fit one, um, Phalaris in here. I think that's just a very good tech option to grab off of your Musica, um, and then, uh, have the ability to, uh, just mill someone out. If we're trying to get to turn five, a lot of these decks will be pretty low on, on stuff, and, uh, and low on deck, and you'll be able to mill them out with Flores. If, at worst, you don't like it, it's a one-of, you can get rid of it. We're running the four Lancelots. Uh, again, this card is incredible. It always will be. Um, it does the job early game and can even help do the job a little bit late game. Again, these can trade things, and you can kill it off with Lancelot, which is a nice uh, feature. We're running two Sarahs. This could be the Angels. It doesn't really matter. The the new Angel that came out, if you're if you're just building this deck and you don't have access to the older cards, um, Sarah is just, it's just multicolored. As long as you're playing a white, black, multicolored, this will allow you to pull it off of MC Line Disrespect and still have enough white that you need for MC Line Disrespect. Sorry, you can pull it off of MC Line Dig. Um, moving on, we've got Alexandrite. I don't, there's worlds where I want three of this card, but I don't think I want it that badly. Uh, the fact that you have access to Enter Charge and also basically free Assassin from the Elrig deck means that you can run the Alexandria pretty easily, and this is also another way that you can just enable Assassin really easy with your deck. I was looking for ways to, to basically replace Kintoki, and this was my number one way to do it. Um... We run some amount of Anna Mirage. It's just a strong card um, overall. It gives you a life burst that I, I like. When you're running four Lancelots, it's a good life burst to have is to be able to put this back out and then and then be able to do some other things with it. Um, there's a world where you can uh, Anna Mirage uh, Eresh, but you probably shouldn't ever do it. <laughs> but it's a world. Um, also, I like that it can get back uh, Phalaris, and then you can swing back with Phalaris at the end of turn just out of nowhere crush your opponent's uh, life, or actually refresh your opponent's life cloth. Um, but at, at the end of the day, negative 8,000, that's what you're using it for, that's why it's good. Um, so we have a couple of these, which are the Vanilla's uh, level 2s that are 10,000 powered, and their life burst basically says pay and enter, get rid of an opponent's Signy. Um, I like these as just fillers, especially because we have a little bit of enter charge in this deck, so we have a little bit of extra wiggle room that we can do with enter. And so this is a no... No, no bars uh, held back. It can, it can get rid of literally anything that we need. I think it's quite good. Um, the Iresh here is uh, just, it's just a one-off. It's something you can bring back with MC Line, or sorry, uh, with Musica. If you feel like, hey, uh, this is, I'm playing against a Nova deck. I need the Iresh to get myself the end of game. Otherwise, it's just a very powerful life burst, um, and it could just be Enter. Doesn't matter. So it's it's there as a one of just kind of like the Folaris. These one ofs are are specifically there as tech options to grab when you MC line disrespect and grab something back with your Musica. Um, Epipam, Epitam. Uh, it's just it's just a very solid life burst at the uh, at the level one slot. Likewise, we're also playing Lapis. It's the same deal. It's these are the same cards. We just needed access to a little bit more white. And I like this life burst more than, again, I, I, I had the world where you could have gone into Madoka Clap instead, um, and you could have run Hakat and uh, Folklores, but I, I, didn't, I didn't like the speed that that gave the deck. It kind of slowed it down too much, and I like the Lapis better here, because it just, it just feels like it's giving the deck a little bit more uh, removal bang for its buck. Um, and then we've got Lynx. Again, this is just like Buckler. It's... You pay, it's a life burst that you pay one enter, and then you can go ahead and uh, 
and get return something back to the opponent's hand. So it's a little bit of inner denial for servants because that's just exactly what you want to be doing with the deck. You want to just be, um, <laughs> you know, running the staple that is servants. And the last card is uh, two rectal rectal digger. Um, I felt like the deck needed a little bit of an exceed payout. And yes, it's got burning curiosity, but I just wanted another way to get rid of top end cards just in case we end up with turn five and we're not really there yet. Like we could have cocoed and put all of our eggs in that basket. And then we end up in a scenario where we're, it's just not quite enough to get us to the end. And rectal digger is sort of just an extra bump there. There's also worth mentioning um, not a ton of ways if you're on the play or if you're on the play and then you end up attacking turn two and you need to open up two lanes yeah, we have the, the Lancelot, but what if you don't end up with the Lancelot in hand? You're just going to have to attack for two, and that kind of feels bad. So the Rectal Digger helps us get to a certain number that we're looking for. Um, overall, I think the deck is incredibly solid. I'm I'm really interested if you guys are really or like are like yeah this is something I want to I want to be playing I want to perfect this please let me know what you guys think what you guys would change as well as if you guys start to using us in your locals how you feel about the deck in, in general I'm probably going to split my time between this and uh the Deus Atomic um just because I think that this has a hole in the meta that can be exploited with this um, but I don't know for sure. So like, I've got a backup, but, um, I think that this is actually very, very strong and overlooked.